polyethylene welding with the help of bosite S welder. Welcome. Today you're going to see PE polyethylene welding. It is highly density polyethylene, that is PEHD. The welded element is now plow with a bosite pit welder with a 350 liters blower. Its performance is higher than the previous one presented before. It lets you work even 24-7 in an ongoing work and the control handle and the heater. It weighs from 200 to 250 grams. The convenience of work is similar to Bosite D part from some equipment that it comes with. I will use a speed nozzle, tapered nozzle, and I will not use the threading welding nozzle and scrapers. Here's the element I'm going to weld. As you can see, I have done a few tests to choose the right binder. Make sure you will look for material signature on the element. It could either be digits or letters or both, for example PEHD. If it doesn't bear any signatures, you may always do some tests until you find the desired parameters. Remember to wear an apron, gloves and protective glasses. There is a notch here, as though as it were brittle there. To prepare the element, as you saw before, is to take the scrapers and do some cuts in the surface. You may also use a small electric or wine hand mailing machine. You may also use any other electric device apparate for that job. Next, use a hand scraper that will remove the remains after mailing. So the surface is ready and now I will choose the appropriate binder. Here we have a triangular one, flat trapeze binder, 40 to 50 centimeters long, but since they are too thick for the job, 5 to 5 centimeters, I will use different ones. Uh, this one is 4 cm in dimension and it will be perfect for that job. When welding PEHD material, make sure that the binder corresponds to the quality of the welded materials or is it PES that are commonly used in pressing the elements. Here we have PEHD element with some pressed elements, so I will use PES here. 
Beforehand, as you could observe, I set the desired temperature, it is 282 centigrade sharp. Before welding, always make sure you melt the binder edge a bit and only then carry on with the welding. It is to see if the binder melts. If so, the temperature is good for that job. The piece here I will weld by oscillating method and then you will see the speed nozzle welding. Remember to start at least two, two centimeters before the brittle. I heat up the binder and the surface and pushing towards the surface a bit. Remember that if you wish to take your arm away, always move the handle aside so the binder cools down a bit. This way you can also correct your hand as well. After that, you take the handle away and push the binder for 6 or 7 seconds to cool it down and then you may release it. The color is a bit different from the background, of course, but it really doesn't matter. When it cools down, I will cut the redundant part, I will also buff it a bit and you will see the final effect of the work. As you can see, the binder buffed flat differ a bit, uh, but not too much. You may be perfect choice of the binder in color. It should not be differ at all. As you can see, the surface has been prepared already and the speed welded nozzle installed. The binder is ready 
um, a few centimeters longer just in case and now you will see it in more in action remember to leave a few centimeters in advance If you choose the correct binder and use the speed welding nozzle, it will take five to six times faster than with the oscillating method. You have to bear in mind, however, that the nozzle is perfect for 10 and more centimeters of welding. Below that length, it does not make any sense at all. It is better to do it with the oscillating method instead. When finished, all you have to do is to cut the redundant part, buff it a bit, if needed, and then repair basically is done. Remember to lower the temperature before you cut the blower and wait for five to six minutes, especially when you have worked a while. We have used B-side as a welder, triangular scraper and a speed welding nozzle with the use of five in dimension binder and a tapered nozzle, of course. With the set presented, you may weld both industrial and automotive parts made from such materials as PEHD, P-S or PVC and other that can be welded. You may use it for constant work as well as from time to time. Thank you very much.